if we were having an earthquake, this is where I would be. I would have dropped and covered, and I would be holding until the shaking of the earth stopped. The reason is that I wouldn't want protection from all the dangerous things that might be flying around in my house. Okay, if we're at home and the earthquake hits and we drop, cover, and hold, uh, we will ride out the quake safely, we hope. However, in the Seattle region, homes built before 1980 to 1985 are at risk because the, the building codes weren't in place to keep a home from breaking apart. There is a procedure we can do to retrofit a home so that it can become earthquake resistant. One of the components of the retrofit is to attach the rim board of the house to the sill plate or top plate and prevent the house from actually racking. In a full height foundation situation, mm -hmm. you would use uh, foundation plates that are especially built to restrain the motion of the sill plate. There's not enough room to get up and drill a hole through the top, so we put a plate on the side anchored into the foundation and then uh, screwed into the, the sill plate. In uh, pony wall situations, if you have a wide section of wall, it's very stable, but if you have a narrow section of wall that's taller than it is wide, it's tippy. To guard against that, we have to oftentimes double the studs at the end of the wall to make a post, and then we'll use what are called hold downs so that it doesn't want to tip. Then we cover the wall with plywood and then nail it with an 8D common nail every four inches around the perimeter, every 12 inches in the field. When it comes down to it, our homes are the most important investment we have in our life. And it's more than just prudent to be prepared by retrofitting an older home and making sure that it will hold together through an earthquake.